We're going to run ROS core. We're going to source devel setup.bash and then ROS launch cat vehicle robot viz launch. Next, we're going to ROS run our viz, our viz. Now we pull up the visualization environment and there's nothing in here. It doesn't make any sense right now what we, what we can see. We're going to fix that in a second. So now we're ready to play the bag file. ROS bag play dash L to keep looping. And then the bag is on my desktop, capture and lock, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So now we're playing this. If we were to look and see ROS topic list, kind of what's here, we see all the things that we should later have access to. Um, and one of them is that inside of um, inside of the cat vehicle somewhere, I don't know why I can't scroll here. There we go. Um, inside somewhere in here, there's a model that was created about the cat vehicle that's available in the ROS parameters. So I'm going to first change by adding by topic, or no, sorry, by display type, um, a robot model. Okay. And the robot model doesn't match anything. There's all these errors. It's because it needs to find the cat vehicle slash robot description. And then the prefix for all the transfer function is in the cat vehicle. So now if we scroll out from here, still an error here. Oh, and then I'm going to change my fixed frame to be the cat vehicle's main mass. So now we should see everything. I don't know why I still don't have the, the robot model here. Um, actually, I think I know why. So let me close this. Close without saving. It's because I didn't run it. Uh, Ross, run Arviz, Arviz. So now we're going to select the cat vehicle name mass. Okay, everything is good here. We're going to add the robot model and change the robot description to be cat vehicle slash robot description. And then the TF prefix, we're going to add cat vehicle. And now you can see the car. You can't see any data yet, but there's the car. There's a, yeah, there's a little bit of an offset here from the tires because we need to upgrade some of our model descriptions, I guess. Um, and now we're going to add by topic Let's look, for example, at just the laser scan coming out the front. And they're popping up on the screen, but they're really small. So I'm going to change the laser scan properties to be 0.1 instead of 0.01. And now you can see the dots moving across the screen. Um, and so, so this is why I recommend kind of figuring this part out. You can do all of this without downloading and installing the cat vehicle stuff, but then you won't see um, the car here you would instead select as your map, oh, I just want to see what's happening from the laser. Um, and then you would be able to see the laser stuff, but you wouldn't be able to see the laser at the same time you see the Velodyne um, because they aren't really related to each other. So you need to have that definition of the car in there in order to make that happen. 